ultimately, it's a biomolecule just as pivotal as DNA, and according to RNA world hypothesis, RNA might have even predated DNA. When comparing DNA and RNA, it's notable that both are found across all forms of life. In eukaryotic cells, DNA is typically located inside of the nucleus, whereas RNA is going to be present inside and outside of the nucleus. Unlike DNA, which has a double-stranded appearance, RNA is typically single-stranded, presenting with only one strand of nucleotides. The sugar component differs between the two as well. DNA contains deoxyribose, which aligns with its name, deoxyribonucleic acid, indicating the absence of an oxygen molecule. That's where the deoxy at the front of deoxyribonucleic acid comes from. In contrast, RNA sugar is ribose, reflecting in its name, ribonucleic acid. When it comes to nitrogenous bases, RNA is going to include adenine, uracil, cytosine, and guanine. Did you notice something different? Uracil replaces thymine found in DNA. This substitution is gonna call for a little bit of a tweak from the familiar mnemonic that we learned about base pairings. So instead of apples in the tree, we're gonna say apple under the tree. That way it lets us know that adenine is going to pair with uracil when it comes to RNA. 